So, good morning. Hope everything is going great, going your way. Uh, got my favorite cup. Talking to one of my favorite people. Today's tea is a fruit tea. It's uh, whew, strawberry, peach, apricots, and dark cherries. It doesn't taste like tea at all. It tastes like Kool-Aid. <laughs> and I don't know if it's just naturally sweet like this or if somebody added some sugar. And I, you know what? I didn't even add sugar to this. So it's, it tastes like I'm just eating a whole bunch of fruit. Uh, fruit cocktail. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like fruit cocktail poured in a cup. Eh. Well, as I was sitting in my thinking chair, I was just thinking about, uh, I was thinking about how we have all of these things lined up. And uh, at the beginning of the week, I had reiterate and remove. And today, I wanted to talk about reinvest. So uh, yesterday with remove, I hope you have removed those things that are hindering you. Now you're ready to ready to roll. You're ready to get it started. And <clears throat> the burdens are lifted. We are getting some momentum in our lives, right? <clears throat> so what we should do is reinvest our time reinvest in ourselves investment definition this definition is to allocate resources in order to earn financial return or get gains right uh second one is to make use of for future benefits or advantages and the third one is to involve or engage especially emotionally so to involve or engage in, especially emotionally. So to emotionally get involved. <clears throat> so with that being said, as I was thinking, as I always do, we have, we invest in ourselves. We have our greatest commodity is time, right? So we have been given 24 hours. Right? 24 hours. You got 24 hours. I got 24 hours. Bill Gates got 24 hours. Uh, President Biden got 24 hours. Everybody got 24 hours. And from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. 11.59.59 p.m. What we do with this is pretty much up to ourselves. It's, it's up to you. It's entirely up to you what you do with that. Now, you might have somebody saying, hey, we got to do this. We got to do that. We got to do this. We got to do that. But really, <clears throat> if you're submitted under that person or you submitted yourself to what they're saying, it's true. And if it's uh, but it's still up to you if you're going to follow that plan. If God is telling you, hey, you're going to do this, you're going to do this, you're going to do this. He can force it to happen, yeah, but it's still up entirely. You can say, just like um, uh, Jonah. Jonah just said, hmm, I ain't going to do it. I'm. A, you want me to go this way? I ain't going to do it. And he went that way, and you know, you know what happened. So, <sighs> we <clears throat> have all this time. And you'll see that millionaires spend their time a little bit different than someone who's not a millionaire, right? Uh, people spend their money, to, you know, they make investments into things differently according to what they want to get out of it. Because remember, uh, investment is to allocate resources or in, uh, I mean, allocate resources in order to earn or to gain specific gains. <clears throat> so, today's readjustment. I want you to consider this. 
because today's readjust, I mean, readjustment is invest or reinvest in yourself. Since you're reinvested in yourself, allocate resources that you have that's going to bring you gains, okay, to secure a better future. So function here and make the best of here and now to secure what you want here. This is past, this is present, this is future, right? So um, also make sure, make, make use of what you currently have, like your, 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 who you are, your experiences, the things that you're doing, the t gifts and talents. Make use of those things here to secure what you want here. Invest your time and your talents here to bring about whatever you want here. Now, if you know what you want here, then you can you can pretty much figure out like reverse engineer what you want. I mean, what you're doing here to get there. If I want a million dollars here, then I need to start investing myself, my time, my my resources here. Because this won't do me any good. The only thing this does is teach me what I don't have pretty much. Uh, or what mistakes I made so I know not to do what I did there to get here. Hope that's, I hope we understand that. <laughs> but make, make, uh, make use of what you currently have. <sighs> that's to, to be sustainable. Sustainability is going to carry you here. Because if you're leaning on everything and everyone else to get you here, there everybody has their own agenda. So they'll take you as far as they can to help you. But remember, they're in it for themselves too. <clears throat> so involve yourself uh, intentionally by doing the things that you should be doing. So what do you, how do you know what you should be doing? Ask. Well, so you do it, you do the things that you, you intentionally do the things that's going to give you that result there. So your input creates the situations and the way you manipulate the situations creates the result. So if you're not intentional, you're not intentionally getting the results that you want. Okay. If you just let it happen, then your results are going to just happen. And what you get, <laughs> you get what you get. And you don't pitch a fit. So uh, as you go throughout this day, start to believe in yourself. You know. And with this belief in yourself. And the confidence that you have. Uh, it comes from really seeing yourself as valuable and seeing your, your own situation through God's eyes. So once you can see yourself through God's eyes, you know, you can pretty much do anything because you plus God is in a majority and you can do all things through him that's strengthens you. Foo, 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 foo. So, you guys have a wonderful day today. Reinvest in yourself, okay? Come pie.